Hi and welcome to Tarot-esque. I hope everyone's doing well. This is a very specific reading for anybody who's feeling anxious when it comes to their love life. We're going to use this beautiful spiritual tool of the tarot to see why perhaps you're feeling this anxious in your love life, what's outside of your control, what's within your control and therefore what is spirit's guidance to you at this point, what can you do more of, what can you do less of that can help you feel better. So do stay tuned till the end where we will get guidance from your spirit guides and see what you can look forward to when it comes to your love life. Once again, this is a general reading um, and it is for people who are feeling anxious right now when it comes to their love life. I'm really sorry that you're going through that. I empathize. I've been there. I'm going through it myself. Um, so I totally feel the pain as well. Um, and I really hope that we can get you some messages with our spirit team and help you see through this difficult moment and see how we can feel better collectively. And if this video resonates with you, do remember to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. I upload content pretty regularly. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's coming in. So firstly, let's dive in and ask like, why are we feeling anxious when it comes to love? And this reading is specifically for romantic love. So three cards, please. Why are we feeling anxious when it comes to love we've got the page of pentacles we've got the three of cups and we've got the eight of pentacles and we've got magician at the bottom of this deck okay so for everyone watching who's feeling anxious right now about romantic love i think the reason why you're feeling anxious is that you don't know whether you'll be able to celebrate this notion of romantic love ever, whether you'll be able to work through these emotions of anxiety, these emotions of like, it never works out for me, so why will it work out in the future? And I think every time you tried to become a student of love and tried to believe in love and trust yourself and trust the universe and work with the energies of love, it hasn't worked out in the past or you've always felt like your friends or your tribe or people around you seem to enjoy love but but somehow it's not meant for you love always passes you by and i'm really sorry to see that but uh, we'll obviously get deeper into this and see what uh, spirit's plan here is for you and i think the reason why some of you feel anxious about love is that you put in all this effort you put in all this work um, and maybe some of you have been through a very difficult situation where uh, there was a third party involved or, you know, someone was not very honest with you and was giving their energy and love in multiple directions. And I think uh, time and time again, we've been disappointed in love. Um, so I'm speaking for the collective who's watching this reading. And every time we've started to trust and build on love, um, it somehow seems that there hasn't been a reason for celebration or any um, cause for joy and it hasn't worked out and you've been manifesting romantic love um, time and time again and you're putting in the effort, you're perhaps saying your affirmations, you've done a lot of inner work, you've come through difficult situations but it still feels like you know love has skipped you over um, and sort of chosen other people to um, you know, chosen their lives to reside within. So let's build on that and just see what has been. So, you know, I often find like even when I read for myself or other people that let's see what has been outside of our control because um, we all come into this world with a, with a certain soul contract. So let's see what our soul chose to embody and therefore, what's outside of our control right now when it comes to romantic love, because the universe wants us to go through certain experiences, to really learn some spiritual lessons, to elevate in our understanding of romantic love. So let's see what's outside of our control. The Seven of Cups, okay. The Three of Swords, here it is. The Three of Swords, the heartache, the heartbreak. And the Nine of Cups, and then we've got the Nine of Pentacles. So what's outside of our control right now is that there is a reason that we feel like we're kind of in this illusion or we can't see clearly because um, 
you know there's a certain reason why this pain and the three of swords is a very deep uh, pain like it really pierces your heart in multiple ways like you see on this card and like it's stormy weather it just you know everything's just coming crashing down that's the feeling of this card but what's outside of our control right now is that the universe definitely has a plan and that plan is first to help us go within and really find happiness within our own self really know how to become independent and not be in codependent relationships or rely on people for this happiness we need to learn how to rely on ourselves first how to embody that love that we expect from other people how to first walk the path on our own before we can extend that to other people or before other people can extend that to us i also think that there's a certain reason so you shouldn't fret too much about this because this is just divinely destined or divinely planned that you know there are lots of options going to there are lots of options that are going to emerge when it comes to romantic love for for the collective that's watching so definitely there there are possibilities of love but i think we had to go through this heartbreak because we need to get super clear which cups out of these seven are we going to pour into or pour from going forward so what's outside of our control is this energy of a setback of a disappointment um because we need to learn how to feel independent and how to feel confident within our own self first another message that i'm getting for what's outside of our control right now is that this pain this disappointment is divinely destined and that is the reason we are supposed to see something through this pain or this could be pain that we've held on to for many many years maybe decades something that happened to us during childhood or something that happened to us very early on in our youth and we're still holding on to it and the you know spirit guides universe wants us to explore what are we still holding on to and why you know because our outside circumstances and our outside reality has changed a lot but that inner child or that young person is still holding on to that pain and therefore this is outside of our control because we need to work through this before we can manifest uh, more abundance and more clarity and and all the other things right because right now there's like this cloud of confusion there's heartbreak we don't know how to really feel happy within ourselves and there's a reason why the universe is you can say perhaps testing us or making us go through this experience because it needs us to get super super clear on what is it that we want to manifest when it comes to romantic love because the universe works with clarity right it's like i often say it's like going to a restaurant and like knowing what to order so when the server comes up to you you can't be like mm, maybe i want the roast chicken maybe i want you know the pie maybe i want the quiche like you have to be super super clear that i want the chicken burger with a side of fries and etc etc so the universe is making you contemplate on this energy and really investigate where are we holding ourselves back what past hurts are we holding on to and what truly makes us happy so when we are wishing for this reason for celebration or this joy what is that what needs to be in each of these cups for us to feel abundant and resplendent within our own selves so let's say here is all this confusion this cup has you know a particular element this cup has riches and wealth you know this cup has temptations this cup has victory we need to know so what is changing from the 7 of cups to the 9 of cups so this energy is outside of our control and here for a particular reason so that's the first message so let's build further on from here let's see then what is within our control so if these energies were outside of our control and as much as we try to question and see oh we could have done something differently and then this heartbreak would have not occurred maybe this will give you some relief that it was going to end up this way because there is a certain experience the universe wants us to gain so what is within our control when it comes to this anxiety or feeling better so we need to know that we can definitely get to the other side and calmer waters await us so that's interesting that 
everything that we need to feel better is within us because now this is the raw for what is within our control and moving on from this setback from these disappointments in love to calmer waters is definitely within our control what else is within our control the queen of pentacles wow and the world and we've got the page of cups at the bottom of this deck so really interesting so what's within our control is to be resourceful to have a different perspective on love maybe we've just been thinking about romantic love in a particular way maybe we've been very fixated on the type of people that we want to date or we want to attract into our life the queen of pentacles is the married queen of the tarot or she's often very nurturing very resourceful she knows how to turn a, a slightly challenging situation into a good situation so what's within our control is to work through this challenging situation of the three of swords into something very very positive for ourselves and that positivity i feel is through the clarity that will come and that is the positive element here that at least we'll get clear as to what needs to go into these cups what's within our control is ending this chapter of feeling anxious or feeling left behind or feeling like the universe hasn't supported us when it comes to our dreams of love i want to reiterate that these three cards are what's within your control so you can absolutely feel better if you just have that unquestioning belief and faith in yourself that you will get to the other side of this you will turn the page on this chapter of your life this difficult confusing uh, you know very anxious chapter of your life because you have the possibility of embodying this queen of pentacles energy and she is very resourceful and by the way the tarot is gender neutral so this is more about embodying the energy of taking this situation taking this hurt taking all the people who perhaps have disappointed us and let us down and emerging stronger from it and closing the cycles perhaps we've been going around in this vicious cycle of attracting the wrong kind of people or giving energy in the wrong places we need to take power back into our controls we need to re take the reins of our life in our own hands and put an end to this so the world is the last card of the 22 major arcanas or the major mysteries um that we have in any you know set of tarot cards or a tarot deck when you get to the world from the fool which is a very innocent energy of taking a leap of faith all the way to going through the trials and tribulations of life and ending up at this world this is the wreath of victory like yes we've gone through many trials and tribulations but that has helped us close out this chapter so this is within your control i want you to remember that so let's go deeper here and see a little bit more on the three cards that we saw earlier the page of pentacles the three of cups and the eight of pentacles why are we feeling anxious when it comes to romantic love any additional messages the king of swords another sign of clarity strength card and the two of wands so again i would say you know um why we're feeling anxious what is the underlying cause of this anxiety is that we feel very strongly about maybe a certain person or a certain truth or a certain way of looking at love but but life or universe's experiences are asking us to take a stand like take a stock check like where are you headed where do you want to go next and the anxiety comes from not knowing how this cycle will turn around for the better how to have the strength and the courage to start all over again how to get yourself back up have the courage think clearly think objectively because right now we're so clouded with our emotions that this is a challenge how to think clearly through this whole situation right so th th that's going deeper into the initial messages we got about the page of pentacles the three of cups and the eight of pentacles yeah how to make this work which wand to pick so that finally romantic love will work for us how to have the strength to recuperate and feel alive and to feel a sense of celebration and a cause for joy 
I completely, completely empathize with you. These are the the challenges or this is what is the underlying reason why you're feeling anxious right now. I'm just going to push this out of the frame for now. Let's just build on the story. So what's outside of our control? We saw the seven of cups, the three of swords and the nine of cups. The three of cups again. So we have a repeating message here. The ace of cups and the queen of wands look at that and we've got the beautiful ace of pentacles at the bottom of this deck so whether we like it or not the universe is definitely sending us a new person in love a brand new beginning in love the universe through this pain of the three of swords once we work through it has a brand new beginning has a brand new introduction to love planned for us and look at this Queen of Wands. This is like one of the most bold energies in the tarot deck. Like she doesn't really care what other people think. She's got her clarity. She knows what makes her happy, what gives her her self-fulfillment. So the universe has something very amazing planned for us. Once we have closed this difficult cycle of disappointments, of questioning ourselves, of doubting our abilities, and we will have reason for celebration. Once we've gotten clarity, this joy, this celebration, like, you know, meeting this divine counterpart, meeting somebody who meets you halfway, puts in the effort, does not half-ass you on things, is definitely coming because this is outside your control. So whether you like it or not, better get ready because the universe has some great things and great beginnings planned for us with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Look at that with the world card repeating again. So we saw that, that this is within our control. We need to close this cycle in order to welcome this these beautiful two aces into our life and then we asked what's within our control so we had the six of swords the queen of pentacles and the world card so we want to go deeper on this and find out what's within our control because i'm really hoping that this helps some of you that at least this is within your control and take this as a sign from your spirit guides from your ancestors from your loved ones from guides of the highest truth and compassion. What's the Six of Swords? The Eight of Wands, forward momentum, forward movement, Queen of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. This is within our control and we've got the Page of Wands at the bottom of this deck. So being playful with love, having this childlike enthusiasm about love. I know it sounds very hard right now, but if you start to trust that the universe is always working in your favor and even if you don't believe it just try it for 14 days every morning when you wake up every night before going to bed just say i trust that the universe is working in my favor i trust that the universe has my back just see the shift in energy that you experience because i want you to take this as a confirmation and i hope that you will remember this um that eight of wands speed with the knight of swords so two cards of forward momentum very quick action coming in with tons of options and you surrendering like this guy is just surrendering to the universe to then show you what the path forward is it's all within your control i have a feeling that with some of you watching hopefully this reading will urge you to get clear on which direction you want to go what lessons have we learned from our past cycles what past cycles need to be closed out um, you know and they don't they no longer serve us so that we can start to bring this forward momentum this is all within your control that's just beautiful i'm gonna ask so what is spirit's guidance for us people who are feeling anxious about romantic love sort of given up hope on manifesting a romantic partner we don't really feel convinced or feel like it's going to happen for us we feel like everybody else, you know, has beautiful partners, they've got a family, the devil, yeah. So obsessive thinking about all the possible negative outcomes. What can we focus on right now in order to manifest abundance in our love life? What can we focus on right now, spirit guides, show us? Nine of swords, death, and the eight of swords. Okay, they couldn't be clearer than this these cycles of being up in our heads struggling to sleep at night because you know we're just worrying about the past what happened therefore it'll always happen to me love is never gonna be on my side death and rebirth this is a very 
crucible kind of moment in our lives where we need to put an end to these cycles of self-doubt and you must be wondering like how i mean i'm watching this reading because i've struggled with anxiety or i've struggled with moving past this energy so we will ask spirit guides but how spirit guides how do we move on from this nine of swords the eight of swords what can we do more of that can help us move away from this very anxious energy close the cycle the ten of swords again that's like the third confirmation we've seen the world card twice and now we're seeing we're seeing the ten of swords show up again we just need to put an end to it how how do we do it how do we do it king of pentacles think about your long-term stability think about what gives you true abundance true joy in the long term focus perhaps right now maybe some of us are better off focusing more on our coin on our career that might just help us get that confidence back because you know confidence is an interesting energy like you have to experience it in one part of your life and then it has like a domino effect on other areas of your life as well so maybe that's a very specific message for some of you that maybe right now is a time to focus more on work what else can we focus on to manifest abundance in our love life the chariot oh my god like the third or the fourth confirmation of victory is yours for the taking just charge ahead so i go back to my message of using the affirmation of the universe has my back the chariot follows the star and the star you can say is kind of like your north star what is it that you're truly looking for when it comes to love when you're manifesting we saw the magician somewhere in the spread how are you really manifesting what are you truly manifesting we need to get clear first i'm just going to remove some of this so it just looks a little bit tidier what does universe or spirit guides need us to do more of what do you need us to do more of at this time to feel better to manifest more abundance in our love life what can we dial up in our lives justice bring back balance wherever we have relationships in our life or we're continuing to give too much and we know it somewhere deep down that we're giving too much pull back your energy bring things back into balance for people who are dealing with something to do with like a legal situation or like a divorce a separation custody something like that i think things will go in your favor just believe just have the faith what else do you want us to do more of to manifest abundance because ultimately look tarot or any other spiritual tool nobody has like a magic pill to give you right we have to do the work as well so the universe can meet us halfway so when we take one step forward the universe takes five steps forward towards us in manifesting our abundance so if you were looking for a reading that just gave you a quick fix on how to come out of this anxious situation i'm really sorry but that's just not how the universe works because it needs to first see our commitment and wanting to feel better it needs us to just break down all the barriers break down all the structures in our life that are built on a shaky foundation and look we're getting major arcana so which are like the major mysteries of the world in the tarot deck so i think for the ones who are watching um you know what i'm talking about there are certain situations that are built on very shaky foundations where either there has not been good expectation setting in the beginning or there continues to be some like you know a uh, lack of clarity or you're not sure whether you or your partner are on the same page whether you know you are uh, advancing your relationship at the right pace or at a pace that feels convenient to not convenient like feels right to both of you what else do we need to do more of knight of cups and extend love to yourself and to others and also be open and receptive to love because i see this four of cups at the bottom of the deck so i think you know when you have been feeling anxious about romantic love even when people do approach you our first response is always to feel a bit like mm, what's wrong with this offer or i'm sure this offer is also going to turn out like everybody else uh this person's also going to hurt me just like everyone else so the idea is to because we asked what can we do more of spirit that can help us feel better you need to slowly slowly i know it takes time open up to love and not just 
assume that everybody who comes towards you um, is going to be like the person from the past. Yeah. Let's also get three cards on what we can do less of. So what is not serving us? What behavior is not serving us right now? And we can do less of so that we can... Oops, this card belongs here. Okay, look, again, there's another message. We got this card earlier as well, the Six of Swords. I'm just going to keep that on the side. What do we need to do less of to manifest abundance? So what's not serving us? Less of Four of Swords. So you know, holding back or retreating from situations, even when people want to offer us love, we're so caught up in the past or we're still hurting from our past disappointments that we just shut down doors. Four of Swords is a very uh, retreating kind of energy where you're holding back, you're not really giving in to the energies. What else? Six of Cups, holding on to the past is not serving us right now. We need to be able to close the chapter. We saw two world cards previously. We then saw the Ten of Swords. Then we saw Chariot, which was all about moving forward, moving forward. We need to let go of the past. It's not helping us. The Wheel of Fortune. You just need to believe and not be impatient that divine timing is at play. We just need to believe. So again, I go back to my affirmation. The universe is always working in my favor. The universe has my back trust that I am exactly where I'm meant to be. If you start saying some of these affirmations in the morning and evening, just see how the energy shifts. And I'm equally speaking to my own self while I'm speaking to all of you. I'm equally in this with you. But I think we need to stop being impatient about love, that when will this offer of love come? And when it comes, we shut the door down, right? So we're also not helping ourselves. So these are behaviors that are not helping us. And we need to be very, very conscious of stepping away from this move on from the past. I know easier said than done, but try and do the investigation as to why we still hold on to past disappointments, even though our physical reality is very different now. And the Queen of Swords, so getting clarity again. I'm going to get us a few Oracle cards. Let's see. Okay, let's just move this so that we can focus on the oracle cards. Let's see what the sacred destiny wants us to know right now. What does the sacred destiny want us to know right now? It wants us to know healing chaos. Oh my God, what an apt card to pull out right now. It does feel like we're in the middle of a, you know, um, hurricane and middle of this tornado, but actually, it's here because you see butterflies here. And I'm going to shortly read um, the, the, the message of this card from the book. But butterflies are here to show transformation. Through the chaos, a new self is emerging. We saw the death card earlier, which is all about death and rebirth, death and rebirth. We need to close out this chapter. And this chaos is here for a reason. But let me read you um, a few messages. Spiraling tornado. So it says the sacred landscape wants you to know that when you receive this card, it acknowledges potential chaos or the need for chaos as an activator for profound healing. If your life seems chaotic, know that it has an underlying energy of healing. You are being healed on all levels. You are a healer. Alternatively, if your life is calm to the point of being stagnant, this card suggests that it might be time to create a bit of chaos in your life. It will activate healing. Do the unexpected, mix life up a bit. So because this reading is more for people who are feeling anxious about romantic love, I think the message that if our life seems chaotic right now, you just need to know that it has an underlying energy of healing and we are being healed on all levels. How beautiful is that? Let's get a card from Oracle of the Fairies. Let's see what message we have here. Okay, music. Listen carefully for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories and charm fairies to your door. So for some of you who are musically aligned, it's a good time to tap into, you know, like we're a multisensorial uh, creature, right, as human beings. And often we forget that and we need to tap into a multisensory experience, whether we're rejoicing and celebrating things or whether we're healing things. So good reminder, personally for me, music is huge in my life and I think it's a good reminder for my own self. I'm definitely going to 
you know, take that to action. And one more from the wisdom of the oracle, flexible. Look at that. Number 19, flexible. So nine and one adds up to 10, which is a one closing out chapters with a 10 and starting again with a number one. But again, I'll just read you the relationship message for flexible that says in every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity is what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time. It's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type, but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. Be flexible. You'll be happy you made that choice. Isn't that so interesting? Because I saw that four of cups and I had given you that message that even when people are trying to come in with that knight of cups, you have that four of cups energy that mm, not really my type or how do I know that this person won't break my heart as well. Just be flexible. Recognize that yes, your life feels chaotic right now, but there's a reason for this chaos because the universe is trying to heal out something. So I hope this reading makes you feel better and makes you feel less anxious. Um, and if you resonated with the way I read or with the messages that I conveyed, please do hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel. It really helps the channel grow. Uh, I thank you so much for your love and support. And thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. I really, really appreciate it. And from the bottom of my heart, I really hope you feel better soon. Good times are coming. Just remember those two aces. Remember that the universe has your back. Remember that everything is working in your favor, even though it feels otherwise right now. Hang in there. You will heal through this. Take care. Bye.